So what actually affects the price of your house? If you are thinking about selling your house, then the first question that comes to mind is like, what's somebody gonna pay for this? Like, what is my house really worth? Now there's a difference between worth and what somebody's willing to pay, but the factors that actually go into pricing a house um, uh, are gonna be your upgrades. Um, you know, what condition is the house in? Um, does it look like 1970s or does it look like today's uh, trendy paint colors? And, uh, uh, and it does matter. <laughs> Painting does matter. So you can't just say, oh, this house is in fantastic shape. Somebody just needs to come and make it their own. That is going to matter. Nobody wants to do any work today. Buyers do not want to pick up a paintbrush. So it might seem like nothing to you that paint's needed, but a buyer is going to say, if I have to paint this place, which could be five to $10,000, right? Then they're going to hit you really hard on how much they're willing to pay. But other things that go into um, uh, factoring into the price of your house is going to be the school district it's always going to be the location first but and then it's going to be you know how big is it how many square feet do you have those are your location and square footage are going to be your two most important things um, and then your updates are going to be next the price of your house has absolutely nothing to do with what you need to do to get out of there and buy another house <laughs> I sit down with home sellers all the time that say, well, you know, the new place needs this, this, and this, so I'm going to have to sell my house for this. It doesn't really work that way. Um, and I understand you thinking that because you're trying to think of, you know, what kind of funds you need to make the next move, but it all starts with how much is a buyer willing to pay for your current place? Then we can make the plans for where you're going next.